Hi Pisces, it is Wednesday, June 26, 2024 today. This is a new deck I just got and it's called the Phantom Tarot Deck, you guys. The Phantom Tarot Deck and I got these on Amazon. What is the daily news for Pisces today, Spirits? What does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading? What does Pisces need to know? Pisces. Ooh, at the bottom of the deck, which is Aries energy. I see you letting go of something, okay? The Fool was on the bottom of the deck. There's something here that you're going to be letting go of, and the timeline may be a little bit off. It's in the Pisces energy right now, though, of what I'm reading for you. The first card you have is the Page of Pentacles. So there's someone here that you're speaking to and they show up as the Knight of Cups. And then you have the King of Swords. So whoever this person is that's showing up in your energy, I'm seeing them coming towards you in a Knight of Cups energy. <coughs> and you are showing up here as the King of Swords, Pisces. We're going to go back and clarify the cards. But I'm seeing someone here saying, I'm not mad at you. I know you're mad at me, but I'm not mad at you. And then you have the Three of Pentacles. And in the center of your reading, you have the Empress. This is Taurus energy. You make everything grow. You make everything good. You make everything around you beautiful. You make the world more beautiful. You're very kind, compassionate as the Empress Pisces. And then you have the Page of Wands. And the Six of Swords is in the center of your, uh, not the center, it's over here. And then you have the Ten of Swords. And the Eight of Wands. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Emperor. This is Aries energy. And you have the Five of Pentacles. So I'm feeling like there's someone here that um, you've kind of had a falling out with and um, whoever this person is, they feel bad, Pisces. Tell me why the Page of Pentacles is here. This person's energy is showing me the Five of Pentacles. All right, so they do feel a great loss, you know from you backing up. There could be a block in communication here. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Okay, so you have the Seven of Swords. And then you have the Ten of Wands. And you have the Star, Aquarius Energy. It's gotta cover up the star because she's naked and YouTube don't like that. Um, so I see you walking out a door here. It's like you're, you're going someplace and this person is watching you leave. And there's something here that this person did where they um 
they did something here like with the ten of wands here i'm seeing a deceptive energy here they did something that you didn't see all right when you walked out the door you went someplace something happened where you were not there and they were carrying around a whole bunch of burdens and I don't want to say burdens it's almost like this person you can you can see them carrying stuff all right carrying stuff and with that you have the star card what were they doing This person's carrying, this person's doing something they didn't want you to know about. I don't see a third party here in this energy yet, but I just see someone here that's doing a whole bunch of work. Tell me why the Ten of Wands is here. You have the King of Cups. All right, so this person is a giver. All right, the King of Cups is here. This person has feelings for everyone. And I feel like this person did something for some other people here in their in their life. And um, something about they didn't want you to know about it. But they're coming to you. I'm not mad at you. I know you're mad at me, but I'm not mad at you. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Okay, so you have the world. And you have the King of Wands. And the Nine of Pentacles next to the Lovers, Gemini Energy. feel like Pisces you're choosing to um, to back up away from this person that's why they're showing um, up here as I'm not mad at you I know you're you're mad at me but I'm not mad at you and then you have the world and you have the king of wands energy so th whoever this person is they're showing a lot of determination wanting to come back into your world wanting to come into your world this person does not want to be separate from you whoever this person is tell me why the king of swords is here and see the queen of swords on the bottom of the deck both of you are putting a lot of thought into this okay tell me why the king of swords is here Queen of Swords came out again, the Seven of Wands and the Two of Cups. Yeah, you're you're hold, you're not holding up the sword here, but the King of Swords is someone who's really in their thoughts. And I'm seeing some words being spoken back and forth between the two of you with the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. And then there there's the Two of Cups. So, I see I see working out some type of an arrangement here with the Two of Cups, but I also see you setting up boundaries, like um, there's, there's boundaries, ru rules being set here to move forward, to move ahead. There could be a child here. We have the Five of Swords, so this is an argument happening within the home. Tell me why the Three of Pentacles is here. The 
something here about building something together, putting down a foundation, a new beginning, um, has become very difficult. There's a lot of work here. Wow, look, the Ten of Pentacles. This could be a blended family, but um, it's like the two of you trying to combine your lives together here has become very, very difficult, but this person, they don't want to give up on this. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune. And so I'm seeing something here changing. Okay, the Empress is sitting in the center of your reading. So your energy is going from... <clears throat> the king of the mind into the softer energy of the empress tell me why the empress is here and this could be a job or this could be a relationship I just feel like for most of you this is a relationship the energy here the artist the knight of wands and the Nine of Swords. Mm. Pisces, you're an artist. You're in this energy of the Empress. So you're wanting to make things beautiful around you as this artist. You could be planting some seeds here, gardening, working on your home. There's a cat here. You're in this dreamy, arty type, fixing things up, making things look beautiful type of an energy and creating. And you have new ideas. Um, and the Knight of Wands is here with the Nine of Swords. This Nine of Swords, this is not your energy. While you're doing this daydreaming and um, fixing things up, making them look more beautiful, this King of Wands is really worried. I mean, this Knight of Wands is very worried about something. Okay, and I want to get a different deck. There, There's some type of a conflict in this person's energy. I keep seeing it. And it's something they're trying to protect you from or keep you away from. What does Pisces need to know? They're trying to, they don't want you to walk away, but I see someone here that is distracted with something else. And I don't know why they don't want to tell you. They're not telling you what it is though. Tell me why the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Swords is here. What is this person worried about? What is this person worried about? You have to see, there they are again, the Ten of Wands. This person is doing something very difficult, moving something, taking care of something. For who? Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Six of Cups and the Fool. This, The Fool is Aries energy, but there's someone here in their energy that they've known for a very long time. It could be a child, but whoever this person is that they're, you know, that they're carrying some weight around for, that, um, they don't want you to know that they're doing this. It's, it's someone that they deeply care about. Someone who's been in their life for a long time. Tell me why the Six of Cups is here. Okay, I did that. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Tower and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, whoever this... This 
energy is right here. And remember, take what messages resonate and leave it out if it doesn't. Um, cause some will, some won't, but there's some, there's someone here that the person that you're thinking of as I'm doing this reading, they love this person. It's someone that they have, um, unconditional love for. And the, the person here is having a tower moment. Something has happened in their life where they feel like, they feel like the walls are falling down. They feel desperate. Tell me why. And, and they are trying to offer this person a helping hand. They're trying to give them advice. They're trying to take some burdens off of them, some weight away from them. Tell me why the tower is here. The lovers, Gemini energy. This person, they could have broken up with something, someone. There's someone here in their energy that um, they're having some type of difficulty with. This third party energy. So I don't want to confuse you. Your person is trying to help out this this one that they know because this this one that they know they're having difficulties some type of difficulty in a relationship that is huge with the tower it's not small it's huge tell me why the page of wands is here some type of sickness you have the knight of swords and you have the Four of Swords. You're going to find out what's going on, Pisces. Because your person is going to tell you. They're going to tell you of some type of sickness or or destruction or something huge that is happening in this family member. I feel like this is a family member in their life. They will eventually tell you. The next card you have is the Six of Swords. Hold on. Why is the Four of Swords here? Yeah, messages going back and forth. When this person tells you about this, um, I'm I'm seeing your energy in relation to this is like you don't want to judge. You don't want you just want to help in some way. And then the next card you have is the six of swords. Tell me why the six of swords is here. The Emperor, Aries Energy. The Page of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Your person here, regardless of what gender they are, they're showing up as an Emperor, Pisces. So this could be a marriage or, you know, someone that you are in a committed relationship with. And I'm seeing them... Um, making a decision here and talking to this younger energy and it, it's showing me that you're the, the two of you are helping this younger energy in some way. And I know this reading isn't going to resonate with everybody. It doesn't have to be a younger energy. But there, there's someone here that is distracting your person. Tell me why the Ten of Swords is here. 
and they are helping someone get up off the ground. Someone who's had a tower moment. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Hierophant. The Knight of Pentacles. And the Two of Swords. And you have Justice Libra energy here. I'm seeing the reason this person's down on the ground like this with the Ten of Swords. It's not fair. You can tell the scales are not balanced here. And they feel stuck. And this is where the person that you're with, where they're coming in to help. It's like... At first, it's kind of a shock, like, okay, what do we do? And then messages, and then the energy speeds up very quickly here with the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? You have Temperance, Sagittarius energy. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles. The Two of Cups and the Sun. So you and this person that we're speaking of right here, <clears throat> that you're in a commitment with, there's something here that the two of you end up doing together that brings in the Sun. So this could be a Sun. This could be a child. This is Leo energy. But it brings in the sun and it brings peace and balance to this person's life. It's like this rescuing type of an energy showing up here. Tell me why the emperor is here. But this emperor, this emperor is sad. They're in despair. They're in their feelings. They're thinking about a family member, someone that they have roots with, someone that they've known for a very long time is going through like a traumatic event in their life. Tell me why the emperor is here. And the moon is Pisces Cancer energy. The chariot Cancer energy. And then you have the world. Another page of wands in the moon. So, I see a younger energy here for most of you guys. I keep seeing pages. Someone in despair. Someone under the moon. Someone who's not sure what to do. And I'm seeing this emperor. There there's, could be travel here with the world in the chariot. But there's a rescue here. It's like, okay, I've got to go. I've got to go and take care of this. This is the father of the tarot deck, too. Tell me why the five of pentacles is here. Why are they in despair? The knight of wands. The ten of pentacles. And the ace of wands. You have the star Aquarius energy on the bottom of the deck. They're in despair with the five of pentacles here because I see a family, all right, and it's hard for me to put it into words, but there's a family here with the ten of pentacles, and there's someone in this family, and this this family member had something to do with this Knight of Wands energy where it shook the foundation 
of the marriage, the home. It shook the foundation and brought in a tower moment. And it's bringing in a new energy with the Ace of Wands. And somehow your person is coming in to help. Because this, this person, I'm not sure this is such a good person, but um, this is someone trying to bring, your person is trying to bring hope to someone where the tower has fallen. Something in their life has fallen apart. Tell me why the Knight of Wands is here. Yeah, see, you could be showing up here as the Queen of Swords, ready to, um, you know, cut someone off, or you're really in your mind, in your head, like, what is going on? And there's something here that, that you are not seeing, that you're not recognizing here as the Queen of Cups. And it turns you, it turns your energy into what is going on with the Queen of Swords energy. Tell me what is going on. We need to have a discussion. All right, Pisces. So that is, seems very personal messages to me. Take what resonates and leave the rest. This is the Pisces energy today, you guys. And today is whenever you're viewing this reading. What does Pisces need to know? Advice for Pisces? You have sheep, power medicine. I am enough. I am unique. I distance myself from negativity. My life gets better and better every day. I am, worth, I am worthy of the best life. I look forward to the opportunities that come to me today. I am open to receiving. So you have openness today. Be open to receiving. Receiving the good. I do see a very good day on the horizon. Even though there, there's an energy here of some type of conflict. Um you know, around you here, I, I am getting a message that you guys need to distance yourself from negativity, okay, and be open to receiving, all right, you guys, I love you, Pisces, thank you for being here with me, thank you guys so much who have donated to the channel, I appreciate your help, and I love you guys, and thank you for all the beautiful energy that you guys send me through the comment section. It really helps me, and um, please take care of you, Pisces, and we will meet back here again tomorrow. Namaste.